We're following up tonight on a local school district's decision to allow students to use the bathroom that matches their gender identity. Two families have pulled their kids out of, a, out of Grass Lake schools because of that policy. They think it's too early to have these conversations with their kids. As Fox 47's Christopher Lane reports, one mom told them it's just easier to send them somewhere else. My husband and I are taking action. We're not just going to talk about it because we're not going to stand for this. Maureen Griffin came to the decision to pull her five-year-old daughter out of Grass Lake schools with her husband earlier this week. My husband and I felt that it was just not the right fit for our daughter. We have no problem with transgender people, but we do feel very uncomfortable with having children sharing the same bathroom of opposite sex. But Nathan Triplett of Equality Michigan says the school made the right decision by allowing the transgender student to use the bathroom that he identifies with. And opinions are one thing and everyone's entitled to their opinion, but when it comes to the district setting policy, they need to set policy based on what's in the best interest of all students. Some parents don't think the decision is in the best interest of all students though, and that's why ones like Griffin are pulling their kids. For me, it's, it's really difficult to have her watching an older girl go into the boy's bathroom because she's very impressionable. She's five. Triplett doesn't think people should have to stay in the district if they're uncomfortable, but he thinks the district's first priority is to look at what's best for the school as a whole. I'm not going to tell any parent what the right decision it is for them to make about their own child's educational situation. If there are some parents that feel like their child would be better educated elsewhere, that's certainly their prerogative. But the district's priority has to be to provide a learning environment that is safe and secure for everyone, which is what they've done in this situation. Christopher Lane, Fox 47 News. The district is sticking with the policy, which is based on a federal appeals court ruling, unless that ruling gets overturned by the U.S. Supreme Court.